Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Erica or Ricky Mickey Plans if you're catching me over on Instagram. Uh, if you're here with me, I hope you're here to plan because that's what I'm doing. I'm planning this week in my classic size happy planner and this is the week of February 15th to the 21st. Uh, first thing I'll do is take my pages off the discs and then I will put this off to the side and I will show you my inspiration. Actually, before I get to this, let me just go ahead and get this junk out of the way. Um, I'm starting to wonder how this all works, but um, I know that I've got to get more um, subscribers for this to work. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you would. Um, just trying to, to see if this is even worthwhile or not, to be honest with you. Um, I've been doing this for a while and I'm starting to wonder if, if anybody's watching me. So give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, let me know you're watching and that will help me know if I should keep going with this or not. So now back to my inspiration. So I have this sticker book here. It is the Homebody Seasons and I haven't used it since Christmas and I realized it doesn't say Homebody Holidays, it says Homebody Seasons. So I'm going to try to make it work for the winter season as well. And it, there are a few stickers in here that are not Christmassy and can work for the winter season. Um, this book matches color-wise very well, the minimalist book. If you notice right here, these blues and these greens and even the grays, if you see the wood grain in that. So that works great. There are a few stickers in here in botanicals that I might pull and a few stickers in here in the regular homebody sticker that I might pull. So that is sort of the inspiration for uh, the decorations of my planner this week, my planner spread this week. Uh, you can see I do plan with post-its. You'll see how these work in just a minute. But before I get to that, I wanna put down some washi. Uh, you saw I'm going for kind of the wintry blues and grays kind of look, and I'm mixing green in because it's my favorite color. Um, the week before this was actually a gazillion snow days. I'm a teacher. Um, we were finally supposed to be back to full-time classes, and as soon as we got back to full-time classes, we had Monday was excuse me a two hour delay and then the rest of the week was snow days all last week snow days it's crazy so it's like well why do we even try to go back hold on that's not tearing sometimes this thicker washi does not tear very well um so you need to cut it with a knife instead i don't know if i got all the way through or not there we go so that week was all snow days. And believe it or not, this week is predicted to be a whole lot of snow as well. So I thought, I'm going with that snowy look. <laughs> Last week was not a snowy look. It was a Valentine's-y kind of look. But, you know, anyway. So I usually put my washi all the way along the bottom, but I didn't have enough of this washi left to do that. So I'm just going underneath the working section today. And that just fell to the floor. I'm not sure if I'm gonna love how this looks, but I wanna have a little bling on this. I mean, silver is snowy, glitter is snowy. It just, to me, seems snowy, and this is all I have. Like, this is the end of my silver glitter washi. I need to get some more. So I'm gonna try to make it work. So far, I kinda hate how that looks but I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a chance. And there's glitter everywhere now, everywhere. Okay. Um, so how the post-its work. The post-its work like this. I can mark down an event, usually with some sort of a box, and I love black boxes, and then I'll move the post-it to next week. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put my boxes in place of these post-its that you see here. These are boxes I've made, but they match all the sizes of boxes you'll find in colorful boxes. I just ran out, so I made my own. Um, 
Making stickers is not very complicated. I'll show you how in just a little bit. Um, but when I ran out, I ran out and I had to do something, so I made my own. So that is for Trash Night, which I will now move to next Monday because see, all these events happen week after week after week after week, and so I can just do this. This is a church meeting. And the reason I'm putting it here is I generally use the top row for like daytime and afternoon. I use the bottom row for night, evening and night, and then I generally use the middle row for to-dos. That is not a hard and fast rule, but it's a general idea. So this happens at like four o'clock, so that's, you know, it could have gone here for afternoon or here for evening. Four o'clock's like one of those in-between times, right? But that's why I chose to put that where I did. Last sticker is, am I the only one who loves clearing off a sticker sheet? It's just something satisfying about that. I love it. Um, dance practice is going to go here. And then I'm going to get another sticker. I hope I have some more. I do. Get another sticker for Calc Night. Now these are not my events, these two. These are my daughter's. And she is old enough to keep track of her own stuff. But I like to know where my kids are. So I put some of their stuff in here. I put a lot of my daughter's stuff in my planner because she's she's 16 years old. She lives with us still. I only put a little bit of my son's stuff in because he's in college and he is not living at home. He's living in the dorm. And so I don't put as much of his stuff in here as I do hers. I'm offsetting every once a few of these because they just look nice. That one's for dance. This will be for game night. I just like how they look offset sometimes. It just adds a little interest so the whole planner doesn't look quite so I don't know, chunky, I guess. Now these I can't just flip because Thursday would be over here. So my planner is off to the side. I'll put these over here. But it's exactly, you know, what you've been seeing. And then, so this is like how I do like the stuff that just happens week after week after week, right? Violin lesson here is after school. I'm going to go like that. Why? I don't know. Oh, that's kind of crooked, isn't it? I don't care if they're a little crooked, but that's a lot of crooked. A little crooked just proves I didn't buy this in a store. I made it myself. <laughs> A lot of crooked it just looks like a mess. All right, so violin lesson and game night. Take those off. And then Saturday, I don't think we have anything. That's wild. Nothing on Saturday. What do you know? Okay, and then Sunday, I don't, I haven't made up any of these larger stickers because I'm not out of them yet. So I'm going to get a larger sticker for church because we actually have three different church things going on on Sunday. Look at that, that's not cut even. And so I'm gonna put that there. I need to mark three different things for church. I need to mark our worship service, our business meeting, and our fellowship. So it needs some extra marks. And then my daughter has a dance practice again. So I'll mark that. And you know what? I just now remembered. I like to mark the Thursday dance practice with a bigger sticker because it's in a different place and a different time than we're used to. So I like to be able to write a little bit more about that. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna move a bunch of things. Hold on. Okay, so those are the things that we do every week that are marked with post-its. Now, let me think if there's anything else different. I would have put that this was President's Day and no school, but we've had enough snow days and that was a snow makeup day that we actually will have school on this day. I probably could mark that there is school, but I don't care about that. I know there's school. Um, nothing on the 16th. This is Ash Wednesday. 
I don't know if our church will be doing anything special for Ash Wednesday since we're still, you know, virtual and all, but I'm going to mark it because it's important in the life of my church. So this will be a sticker that I will write Ash Wednesday in, and if there is something going on, I'll mark that there. I don't think there is, though. Nothing extra on Thursday. Nothing extra on Friday. There's a cousin's birthday, but that's okay. Um, and nothing extra on Sunday. So pretty much our repeating events are all of what all that we have going on this week. So that's kind of nice. Okay. I may end up moving a few things around again because I want to add icicles. Do you see these? I'll take one off. I made icicle stickers that are made to fit underneath these boxes. And that makes me realize that these are all so close together, I won't be able to put icicles under them. So I'm gonna take a minute and put icicles under my boxes. I'm so excited about these. So give me a second, I'm gonna do that now. You know what, I'm gonna pause a second on these because I also have these snowflakes right here and I wanna put one of these down in the corner and I wanna do that before I get these on in case it overlaps. So I need to pick what I want to put down here. I think I'm gonna go with this big guy. This is just an image that I got off my Silhouette software. I know most of you know what a Cricut is, but I have a Silhouette, which is, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, honestly. Um, oh, that's kind of pretty. I like that. Oh, I like that. All right, so I'm leaving that there. Now I can reposition some of these stickers. little swirly duties up here on the top so I'm gonna pick up this sticker which might be a little harder the stickers I make seem to pull up a little easier than the ones from happy planner but I think I'm gonna get it all right so I want to put another little swirly dude up here um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do the giant one I think I will so you can see I was struggling with these icicles a little bit but you know what when you're trying a new a new thing you don't know what's gonna happen and that's what happened I didn't know so I'm glad I tried it though I don't know if I'll do it again but I'm glad I tried it I'm trying not to cover up the dates here oh that could work I'm gonna have to pick this up I'm picking everything up I think somebody did a tally of like how many stickers I pulled up. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm just kind of indecisive, I'll admit. Isn't that pretty though? Oh, yay. All right, so that pulls my church thing down here, which is fine by me, I don't care. Cause I don't give myself a big to-do list on Sundays anyway. Um, so I'll put that there for church, and I might as well put an icicle on it just because I can. So these kind of have like a, a lumpy top. Again, this is just, um, this is also from the Silhouette software. Um, just an image off the Silhouette library. So the little icicles, I like them. And then I will put dance practice here. And I might as well put an icicle on it because I put an icicle on everything else. And you know what's funny is one of my inspiration books had boxes and I'm ending up using all my own boxes. I need to just stop using my own boxes for a while and remember that I have these sticker books with boxes in them. Colorful boxes are not the only boxes. But I kind of like how this is looking though. It's kind of fun. It's different. I'm gonna cut this off this off. 
take these two little pieces and get them out of the way before they mess me up. All right. So, <clears throat> pardon me. That was my big plan, which means I didn't use this inspiration here. I guess I could use the checklist still for some to-dos. And I didn't really use these <laughs> either. Oh, goodness, Erica, what a mess. All right, so let's see what I can use. Because this is, this is where I started. This was the seasons book that I wanted to make more than just holidays. So can I use it when it's not Christmas is my question. I can use Bring on the Sweaters. I could use Went Welcome Winter, but I'm not doing red. That's Christmassy. That's Christmassy. These look Christmassy. This one, Frosty Mornings and Toasty Blankets. That is so going to fit this week. Oh, yeah. However, this little um, pine piece of pine up there looks kind of Christmassy. And I have a thing about white stickers. I just don't love them. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to cut it. And I can still keep this, even though I'll probably never use it. And then I've got this little cutie. Frosty mornings and toasty blankets. Isn't that sweet? The color isn't quite right with my little homemade um, snowflakes, but I don't care. And I think I'm going to put it right here over where it says notes. I'm going to, let's see, there's one more thing I want to do before I do that. Remember how I said making your own stickers is easy? You don't have to use a silhouette or a Cricut. You don't have to have cool sticker paper like I've been using and showing you here. This is just regular old copy paper, regular old text box. And I'm going to put that over that because I don't want that peach right there. And the way I do that is I use this. I flip this guy over. I grab a glue stick, which I cannot find. Oh my goodness, where'd my glue sticks go? Oh, that's right, I used up my glue stick last week. It was in the middle of my Plan With Me video. All right, so then I take that, and I'm just gonna go straight over top of the February that's on there. And you'd never know there was a little peach February right there. And then now I can put this on, get that out of my way, and I can scooch it up a little bit more. I think my February might be crooked, but I don't really care. So there we go. See, look at that, made it work. So stickers can just be something with glue, not a big deal. Bring on the sweaters. I kind of like it, but it's gold, and I've got this silver down here. I don't know. I might come back to that. Remember how I said I want this to be seasons and not just holidays? It might just be holidays. Yeah, this might just be holidays. It should say homebody holidays instead of homebody seasons. Every season serves a purpose. Now, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I kind of like that. Winter days. Ooh, winter days. I like winter days. I'll make sure I get this in here. Maybe every season serves a purpose. I don't know about that. I do like it. It could work, couldn't it? Can you guys answer me? <laughs> Somebody say something, please. Yes, it works. No, it doesn't. Um, what about something like that? Too weird? You can't see it very well, can you? You can't see it. I don't know that it's worth it. I don't know that it's worth the trouble when you can't really see it. Yeah, it's these white stickers, I'm telling you. I just... I have a thing about them. Whereas clear stickers, I'm totally cool with. Explain that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense. I know. So I'm going to put winter days right here. All right. Before I go crazy with this decorating, I'm going to do my icons because I skipped them. So I'm going to put 
a few more stickers and some icons on all these boxes so I remember what the boxes are for later. So that's my next job. Okay, now, that was all I pulled from that book, wasn't I? That's disappointing, I disappoint myself. I was hoping I could make that happen. All right, so my second choice of book was this one. This is where I might get some to-do lists or something. Um, this book is not staying together. These are good, but they take up a lot of real estate, I don't know. Let's give them a go. I was originally going to go with the blue and the green, but I think I'm just going with blue now. Remember when we said I didn't want gold, and I used gold here? I might pull out that other sticker now that had gold in it, because I did it there. All right, so I'm going to use a to-do list here. Monday always has lots to do. And then I always give myself a good substantial to-do list on Thursdays because if I get stuff done on Thursdays, I don't have to do it on Fridays and then Fridays feel like they begin the weekend. These colors are weird. They're not quite right. Do I care? I don't know. Kind of. Do I want another one for Saturday? I don't know yet. These are to-do lists. These are different. I've never used any like this. Is that weird? These are totally different. I don't know if I can fit it. That is different, isn't it? It's different. I'll try one for Saturday. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Is this good? different. It's kind of fun. kind of wish I had more and didn't use these on the other days. So Tuesday is always an exhausting day for me. Just mentally. Um, mentally, Mondays are kind of like, get the week started. Yes, I'm ready for this. And then Tuesday, I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to do this again. <laughs> so for me, Tuesday, you know, most people have a rough day on a Monday, but me, Tuesdays are the ones that wear me out. So I think it's okay to only have two things to do. And then I want to find that today sticker to put over that. I saw a today sticker. I could use one of these again. Kind of goes with the roundedness, right? The roundedness of these two. Apparently I've tried to use this before. Okay, I'm gonna close that one down. I wanted to go get that sweater one again. I might put it down here at the bottom. Remember that sweater one that I said I don't want it because it's got the gold? But then I've got gold up here, so what the heck? Now do I like the gold right next to the silver? That's another question, I don't know, but I'm going with it. Mixed metals, they're fun. <laughs> right? Right. Okay, this is when I was gonna go for blue and green, and these were greens, and they're not blues. So, I'm going with no for this book. Okay, and then there was the botanical book. Again, there was the green. I know there are some blues in here though, let's see. Do I need anything from here though? Do I? Life happens, coffee helps. Why don't I put that across Monday and Tuesday? Because, you know, it's Monday and Tuesday. I, I'm digging it. I, I'm, I'm getting okay that the blues don't all match. I'm becoming okay with that. I was uneasy about it at first. I'm becoming okay with it. Now, I have some more swirly dooly jo doobie jobbies and I've got some more just plain old snowflakes 
So I'm gonna figure out what to do with these now. And I think I'm just gonna play a minute. So you're gonna see me playing with stickers now. All right, so I have a snowflake sort of touching every day. I don't really have one on Wednesday, but Wednesday looks pretty full, so I think it's okay. Maybe I'll put one, I have one little one down here. Maybe I'll put it like right here. Yeah, that's good. And I could put one right there too. Because, you know, because it's curved, I'm not going to write, you know, all the way down to the bottom of that circle. This looks like blues and grays just vomited on my page. I don't know how I feel about this. But, again, you never know till you try, right? Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Does this work or doesn't? I don't even know. Um, maybe it's the kind of thing that once I get the pen on it, you know, like the black ink, the stickers are sticking everywhere. Once I get some black ink on it, maybe it'll pull it together a bit. Is that wishful thinking or is that a positive outlook? I don't know. Um, I also was going to add some more washi, but I don't even know if I can now. This washi is crazy. It has airplanes on it. I got it as a freebie. I ordered something from the washi shop and this was like the freebie they sent me. Look, it has little airplanes. And what I was going to do is just tear it where the airplane was and then tear it where the next airplane is and then just use the glitter that's supposed to be like the, you know, the exhaust from the airplane and just kind of I don't know, put some washi around a bit. But I don't know if this is more blue hoople vomit, <laughs> so to speak. I kind of have a lot of blue vomit on this, this spread, don't I? That's crooked. This little tool I pull things up is a spatula tool that came with the Cricut. I know I said I used a silhouette. I used to have a Cricut. Um, I didn't, I didn't love it because back when I had the Cricut, you couldn't hook it up to your computer yet. You could only use those little discs, those little cartridges. And the Silhouette at the time was the only one that hooked up to the computer. Now they both do, but, you know. Is that wrong? That's kind of wrong, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe if I add more? Less is more. More is more? I don't know. I wish you guys could talk to me. Maybe I should do a live someday so you guys can like tell me what you think and be like, no. What if I put this under here to get rid of some of this dead space on this rounded circle? Rounded circle? What the heck does that mean? This rounded to-do list. Break that up a bit. Well, that's not awful. I don't know if it's wonderful, but it's not awful. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't stick. <laughs> uh, I don't know. These just feel stuck on there. These two maybe feel okay, but these two feel very unintentional. Should I put those here too? Break up those big checklists? They won't have snowflakes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 
you should um, stick around to see the still picture at the end of this and see how much I changed after I ended the video and before I took the picture. <laughs> I have a feeling these might go. <laughs> they may just go away. I don't know that I love them. I don't know that I love anything about this spread. I think it started with the washi down here. I didn't love that. But sometimes you love them, sometimes you hate them. So there we go. Finishing touch is I need to do my work to-do list. I use these little sheets from Tool. Again, this is my own sticker, quote unquote sticker. It's just copy paper, a few text boxes, text boxes, and um, a glue stick. I mean, that's really it. And this is my header. So I don't like to keep multiple planners. I know some of you do, and that's great, and that's fine. I just don't. I have a plan book for teaching, and then I have a planner for other stuff. And I only want to have one planner. One planner, yes, not plan book. They're different. And so, so that I don't have to have a work planner, I have this sticker that has like the things I have to do each week, no matter what, like non-negotiables. And then the rest are like the other things that I'll have to do this week. And this will live right here in my planner. And I can take it out and leave it on my desk at school and bring my planner home, or I can bring this home with me, either way, whichever I want. So this lives in my planner. And I make it coordinate since it lays like that. In fact, I may just put a little swirly, snowflakey thing at the bottom because I've got it. So there we go. Now it coordinates even more. Fun, fun. All right. I'm going to give up while I'm ahead. If I'm even ahead, I'm not even sure. And call this quits. So this is possibly my spread for the week. Thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for dealing with my uh, indecisiveness and all that. So again, thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribing would be better. And um, leave me a comment and give me some suggestions. I'll take them. I'll, I'll take them. I take criticism well most of the time. So thanks a lot. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy planning. Bye-bye. All right, so I didn't want to just fix it and take a picture and not talk to you about why I changed what I changed. I did rearrange the little blue things. I left them on there, but I made them coming out from under things or off the edge of the page. I thought they looked a little less, you know, thrown on that way. So, and I did fill up the bottom here where this silver washi didn't go to the edge because that bugged me a bit. This is still, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I, I tried to work these in a little bit more. I'm still trying to like this spread. I still, the jury's out, but it's my spread, so I'm going with it. So that will be it. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye. And I'm back. Uh, this is the next day, and I came in this morning looking at it, and I thought I was going to hate these and the, you know, the color being different, but that's not what bugs me. It just looked flat. So I got a completely extra idea, but I feel like being extra, so I'm going to do it. You can see where I started right here. See that little bit of sparkle right in there? I'm going to take the scraps of the silver washi and cut it into tiny little squares that I'll turn sideways so they're diamonds and stick them in some of these snowflakes. It's totally extra, but I love how it looks. See, I did one there and there and there and I just love it. So yeah, be an extra now. Here I go. <laughs>
I'm happy. So that is my real goodbye. Thanks.